Hi, um, the last part of this series of ADS Advanced Learning Series, AL Programming. We'll talk about measurement expressions, AEO. So what are measurement expressions, AEO? Measurement expressions, AEO, are functions that you use in the ADS data display, or they can also be used in the measure expert component or part in the schematic window. So most of these measurement expression functions that are shipped with ADS are coded in the AEL language. And um, a lot of these files are all part of this a ADS installation directory right here. Um, these are all the files that are shipped. And then here it talks about each of the functionalities of those files. The one that we will use in this uh, simple lab is uh, how to convert an Y to ABCD matrix, which is part of this uh, function or file called network under fund.au. Uh, before we do that, there are some do's and don'ts. Um, just as in any other AEL function that you use in other parts of ADS, AEL functions overload existing functions. So that means you have to be very careful in naming your functions so it doesn't overload an existing functions. But the functions that you write in measurement expressions, AEL, are not loaded into the same command space as the ones that we did in um, part one and part two of the series. They're not loaded into the design environment command space. A measurement expression has its own command space. One of the things that you may really want to be aware of is um, when you do for or while loops, most of the variables in, a, in uh, measurement expressions are data set variables. So if you do a multi-dimensional sweep in the schematic, so in this case, we're doing a three-dimensional sweep. Let's say we want to traverse and um, obtain the value of the last um, variable. So we use this in this kind of a loop um, this is very performance intensive because in order to reach this variable right here, it's got to reach this dimension and then the second dimension and then the third. So the recommended practice is if you want to just, let's say, uh, access that the second dimension first value, create a variable like this and then traverse that in a for loop or while loop. And this is uh, less performance intensive than uh, if you did it um, using the, this method right here. Okay. So there are five steps in programming your own measurement expression AEL. The first one is uh, developing the algorithm. So let's say we take a simple Y to ABCD matrix that we find in any RF and microwave textbook. The equations are right here uh, for converting in Y to ABCD matrix. This particular code, a bunch of equations here are, uh, we're just doing um, S parameter and then converting it into a Y parameter. So we can use that in the, in the, in the test um, function. So once you code this in the data display window, um, those are the values that we coded right here, the equations. We can compare that to the inbuilt function right here, and they kind of correlate exactly. So we know that the algorithm we developed is right. Once we um, have the correct algorithm, the second step is to code that in AEL. So uh, which, which has already been done here, I just took those equations and cut and pasted it right here. And um, that's the function called my y to abcd that we'll be using. And then um, all this is already stored in this file here. Um, when you write your own file, you can either copy and paste this code or you can uh, download this file from wherever you downloaded the, the video and then save that in this um, directory here. The third step is to load the, the, the file that you wrote. So here, for example, this is the file that we save the function. So in order to load that, copy this user and this could define fund from the ADS installation directory here to your local home slash 
expression hp soft slash expression slash al directory right here and then edit this file and add this single line to load that uh, file which has that function um, the fourth step is to test the function so um, right here create an equation my to a b c d and then call the function right here and then pass the y parameter and these are the four um, ABCD values. Um, if our algorithm was right and if we had coded in properly, this value should correspond to the same values as the inbuilt function right here. Uh, the fifth step is um, if you have some errors in your function, you can either use the traditional way of putting F put statements in the function here and then printing the values to the output debug screen or you can use the start debugger or you can use the start debugger function here uh, by including that at the top of the function right here so in this case i've already done that and um, this code or this function call calls the debugger if i deactivate that it automatically calls the debugger um, just like in part one and two of this series you can just set breakpoints anywhere and then just step through the code um, once you step through the code you can hover the mouse over any of the variables um, to look at the value and once um, you know that the code is working the way it is you can just hit the run button to continue executing and then close the debugger which will pass the control back to uh, the data display window so um, this shows how to use code trace which using the fputs function um, which prints the output to the error screen right here so that concludes the advanced um, al programming series um, and if you are interested in exploring this further please go to the knowledge center or to the ship manuals with ADS. Uh, thank you.